it's Gabby. Day 38 of my solo healing journey. And I started listening last night to Barry Love, and it was just fascinating. I wanted to share with you, you know, a little bit of, I listened to a 20 minute lecture and then another few lectures that were shorter, but I wanted to kind of share with you what I took from it. It was really, really powerful. I, I downloaded a few hours of his work to listen. So Barry Love talks about love and relationships, and he says that that sex is want and love is give. Sex is what do I take and love is what do I give. And he talked about how most men and women are dissatisfied sexually in their relationships. Um, I'm assuming I'm talking about longer relationships, not the I just met you, oh my god, you're the meaning of my life. And he said that men want to have sex and women want to make love. And that men want from the genitals, from the sexual place, and women do as well. But basically what he says is that the, the sex is impatience. Sex is going, driving toward a goal and then it's over. And sex can be interrupted, sex can be frustrated. You talked about that sex often we're not even with the person we're really with. We're fantasizing about someone else, some actress, someone in a magazine, someone in a movie, some other person. That we're not really there in sex. And then we talked about love. He said love can't be interrupted. If you are in, if you are loving and you are engaging in sexual activity and it gets interrupted, there's no frustration, you just continue later. But that love is, is continuing. And we talked about how when um, a woman isn't satisfied from her heart in, the sec in sexual activity, then she gets emotional. And then that causes moodiness and stress and all sorts of things in the relationship. He said when you're when you're making not when you're making love, when you love, then the difference is that you're not saying what I want, you're saying what can I give. And he says a man's role is to ask the woman, what can I give you to make you most beautiful? What can I do for you? to help you be your most beautiful self. And his job is to bow down and do all that he can to bring her to that place. And the woman's role is to say to her man, what can I give you to make you noble? What can I do for you to make you your most beautiful man self? And it was really beautiful, really touching. And he talks about sweet nature. That, uh, that if I bring my sweet nature of the man and the woman out, then it doesn't matter if I have a partner, if I don't have a partner, if I'm sexually with my partner, or if I don't have a partner. I'm not sexually, but I bring my sweet nature, then I'm living that energy of love of that giving and then things will come to me. The right love will come in my relationship or if I don't have someone then it, that will come. And he said, my sweet nature is just the kind way that I can treat people and, and give to them to help them be their most beautiful selves. It's really nice. He said, just the way you talk to someone, the way you thank someone, the way you drive, the way, you know, just the way you live your life in a sweet nature. So I'm listening, I'm going to continue listening and I'll keep sharing with you, but it was really powerful for me, this idea that it's not about what I want, you know, I want you to change, I want you to act this way, I want you to be like this, I want you to satisfy me. It's about what can I give you? And if both partners 
live that way. Then and I cannot imagine how absolutely breathtaking any sexual intercourse would be because it would just continue to be an expression of what can I give you and both both partners are just doing all they can to give the other which just creates such appreciation and such beauty and, and such mutual desire and well hi dog <laughs> we have a guest